Greetings, beloved. My name is Paula. You're viewing Faith in Five. If you're looking at this program for the first time, you're most welcome to do so. Our scripture reading is taken from Second Chronicles chapter 6, reading from verses 12, straight on to verse 21. Let's go there immediately. Then Solomon stood before the altar of the Lord in front of the whole assembly of Israel and spread out his hands. Now he had made a bronze platform, five cubits long, five cubits wide, and three cubits high, and had placed it in the center of the outer court he stood on the platform and then knelt down before the whole assembly of Israel and spread out his hands towards heaven he said O Lord O God of Israel there is no God like you in heaven or on earth you who keep your covenant of love with the, your servants who continue wholeheartedly in your way verse 15 you have kept your promise to your servant David my father with your mouth you have promised and with your hand you have fulfilled it as it is today. Now, Lord, God of Israel, keep from your servant, for your servant, David, my father, the promises you made to him when you said you shall never fail to have a man to sit before me on the throne of Israel. If only your sons are careful in all they do to walk before me according to my law, as you have done, and now, O Lord, God of Israel, let your word that you promised your servant David come true. Verses 18. But will God really dwell on earth with men? The heavens, even the highest heavens, cannot contain you. How much less this temple I have built. Verses 19. Yet give attention to your servant's prayer and his plea for mercy. O Lord, my God, hear the cry and the prayer that your servant is praying in your presence. Verse 20. May your eyes be open toward this temple day and night, this place of which you said you will put your name there. May you hear the prayer your servant prays towards this place. Hear the supplications of your servant and of your people Israel when they pray toward this place. Hear from heaven your dwelling place. And when you hear, forgive my God, it's saying to you at this time by way of prophetic anointing and a no word for you. This is what God is saying. Amen. You will have an altar moment for all to see. That's what happened with, with Solomon. He knelt on top of the altar that he had built. You will have an altar moment for all to see, to bear witness. You see, uh, God is going to afford a moment in your life at a special time where people and you will be able to uh, bear witness to what God has done. Amen. Using your hands, using your labor, using your effort. Amen, my, be my beloved friends. To see, to bear witness between you and God, between you and God, there is a moment coming for you. You see, God has sent me an assignment to let you know that there is a moment that is coming for you where you will have an altered moment and people will witness the work that God has done through your hands. God's God's covenant of love will be proven in you when his promise unfolds in your life and come to pass. That's what Solomon was saying. He said, you have kept your covenant of love. How? What you had promised with your mouth, you unfolded it with your hands. That's how I know that you have kept your covenant of love with me, to me. Amen. You have caused your promise to come to pass. Your whole heart to God will bring it to pass. You see, remember Solomon emphasized when he was praying and talking to God that as they follow you wholeheartedly, as my sons, as I followed you wholeheartedly and as they followed you wholeheartedly, this will come to pass. We don't want to forget that, beloved. There is a wholeheartedness towards God that will bring about the promises of God in your life to unfold and be made manifest. Wholeheartedness in every way. In every way, not just by mouth. What your forefathers never saw, you will see. You see, David wanted to do it. And God told him no. And God said, your son will accomplish this for me. And so I'm letting you know. Listen, you are looking at me. I'm letting you know right now. Everything that your forefathers desired to, to unfold and to bring, to bring about the good of God, it will come to pass. You are looking at me through your hands. Amen, somebody. That's a word for a lot of you out there. God will make you a promise with his mouth and with his hand, he shall draw it out. Say that again, it rhymes. God will make you a promise with his mouth. Did God promise you a lot of things? You can recall it right now. He sent me to let you know. And with his hand, he shall draw it out. Amen. When you stand firm, God will come. God will cause your family line, your seed, your children to sit on the seat of your faithfulness from generation to generation. May, may 
may this seat of David never fail to have a man sit on it and to, and to rule and that's what the promises of God so he's saying as you stand firm I will cause your children and your children's children to never fail to sit on the throne of your faithfulness how you have stand firm so they will follow amen that's a word for many of you that are looking at me God will put his name on what you build for him I said, because that's what Solomon said further on in his prayer. He said, may you put your name here. He, God will put his name on what you build for him. He will not let his eyes move away from it. He said, uh, don't let your eyes, where, where was it there? Amen. How much less this temple I have built, yet give attention to your servant's prayer. And it's plea for mercy, O Lord God, hear the cry. Amen. May your eyes, verse 20, be open toward this temple day and night. This place of which you said you will put your name there. Amen. He will not let his eyes move away from it and he will forgive. I've overstepped my five minutes. Bye for now. Until we meet again. Be blessed. Share this word with someone.